All right, so beautiful day here in Half Moon Bay, California, and I'm just out looking for some hills and trees to paint. These hills are nice, but maybe just a little bit too yellow. All right, so I'm not even really sure what road I'm on, but I just pulled over, beautiful view. Okay, so I like all this really nice rich green in the foreground, and it kind of winds up, and there's a bit of it right here as well. Uh, the problem is, and I like these trees, but the problem is this is really dark and heavy. If uh, Without something to balance it on this side, I feel like the painting's gonna feel lopsided. There is some dark trees up over here, so I may kind of accentuate those. Okay, and I'm using a 12 by 16 inch panel today. Okay, also I've clipped my backpack to my easel just to keep it stable. I just use a carabiner here attached to one of these crossbars. Okay, so here's kind of what I'm working with. I had to move the top of the mountain. It sort of ended up right in the middle of the canvas. Uh, what else? Uh, these trees are all going to be dark. There's some shadows cast right here. As you can see, the trees are going to continue to cast more shadows as the sun goes down. Um, so there'll be dark here, some dark in the foreground, and then maybe dark blue for the trees that are off in the distance there. All right, I'll probably do most of the video with this um, Princeton 6300 synthetic flat. It's a number six and this will allow me to get some of the smaller shapes. When you actually push down, it has a fairly large stroke you're able to put down, but then if you apply it sideways, you can kind of create lines. So I might move this upper mountain over a little bit and then bring these trees in the background a little higher. But I'm thinking of creating some kind of pathway into the back like this. So I've lightened up the sky a bit and I am trying to get some of these nice reds or kind of like pale purples in the mountains in the background, which would be right here. And so just kind of focusing on getting interesting shapes and trying to put it down, you know, with simple brush strokes. Also, I don't want the values, I want all the values to be close together because it's off in the distance. And I don't want it to be too warm either. I'm pretty close here. I noticed the shape of this tree right here is, I gotta change that, sort of awkward. Uh, and then I might lighten the sky right above the mountain there.
Okay, so I fixed the shape of the tree and I lightened the sky a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot more warmth in the foreground here. Uh, what else? There's some sort of undefined red areas in there that I like. I'm just going to leave it the way it is and live with it, see how I like it. So I'm going to pack up, but I feel like I pretty much stuck to the plan that I started out with. I was just trying to get warmer colors uh, and more saturated colors as it came towards the foreground. And I do feel like the design is okay. Uh, like I said, I'm going to bring it home and I'll actually do a studio analysis of this painting as well. I will put that on my Patreon channel. Um, and But one thing I'd say is I could have used a larger panel. Uh, this was a 12 by 16 and did feel a little cramped. Some of the spaces and some of the shapes were pretty small. So it could be good to do on an 18 by 24. So maybe I'll come back. Uh, but this spot is really good and really enjoyed it. In fact, a couple people stopped by and were like, uh, you know, like local ranchers or whatever and wanted to see my progress. Uh, so that was cool. Everybody was really friendly. So anyway, as usual, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.